crawling on my neck literally stuck on my neck it would not get off mom came rushing in the room like what's going on what happened and then my sister was like she has a what's up loves it's your girl k love and i'm back with a new video today's video is going to be a story time as you can see in the title yes a water bug was in my wig okay this wasn't just no ordinary bug this wasn't just no little bug little cockroach this was a water bug <laughs> Water bug. Y'all know them water bugs that be outside and it be like, they come out when it's like moist or when it's raining. Like those big ass black beetle looking things. Yeah, that was in my wig, sis. It was in my wig while I was cooking food. So let's jump right into the story. Okay, so it all started. I was on my way to the kitchen in my apartment. And at this time, I was living in an apartment that it wasn't like the best apartment, but it wasn't the worst either. But they had rodents, but it wasn't like to the extreme. However, I don't think the rodent was in my house. I think it got in my wig when I was outside sitting on, um, sitting on the steps in front of my building. So I go in my apartment, y'all. I go straight to the kitchen. I wanted to make grilled cheese. I remember that day I was making grilled cheese because I wanted something light. So I do what I do, go in the fridge, get my cheese, get my butter, get my bread, and I get the pan out, put it on the stove, light the stove up, you know. Okay, so I'm cooking. I am uh, got my wig, it was slayed to the gods, and literally it was this big. This wig, this is the wig, my Peruvian wig, but it wasn't this exact wig, but it was this wig that I had on. So you can already tell by having this wig on, you probably not even gonna know if you got ants crawling through your, through your wig. So I really didn't know like, but I remember one time me and my sister was at the park and she had a wig on and it was a, um, I don't even know what type of bug it was, but it was like a, it was green. And I told her, I was like, it's a bug in your wig. She took the whole wig off, like, in a set. Before I can even say, it's a, uh, the wig was off her head. <laughs> okay, so this was the wig. So, um, yeah. When I was cooking the grilled cheese, I kept feeling something on my neck, okay? But I literally thought it was just the wig messing with my neck. So I'm still cooking, flipping up my grilled cheeses, adding my butter, you know, about to be done cooking my grilled cheese. So I'm still feeling something. Mind you, I done been, I already scratched, but I didn't feel nothing. So when um I was done with my making my grilled cheeses or whatever, here I go scratching again, still don't feel nothing, just you know. Just scratching non-stop. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I'm like, what is that? Like, why do I keep, and I'm still not feeling nothing, but it just felt like little fingers just crawling on me. So I was like, okay, well, let me move the wig around. Once I move that wig off my shoulder, like the, this is the wig hair, the bug literally flopped on my boob. When I say <laughs> flop on my boobs, the water bug was right here. I am not even lying. Like, by me going like this to the wig, it just crawled all over my breast. When I say I screamed, I did the same thing my sister did. I flung that wig off so fast. Like, that wig was gone. And it could have probably caught on fire because the stove was still on, like literally. And then like, I just ran out the kitchen. I didn't even look back to see if the bug was gone, if, if, it, if it got in the food. I didn't know, all I know, I ran out that kitchen so fast. Like, them bugs are my biggest fear. I will not step on them. I will not try to kill them. I will not spray them. I will run. I am not even playing. Like, if it was more than one, I probably would have left the house, like all together. And I threw the wig out. I didn't even put the wig on. It scarred me for like months. I, I like, 
I'm not even lying, like for months I was scarred because that roach was on that wig. And I just thought about it. When I put the wig on, I just think about the bug crawling on me. That's how bad it was. And like, yes, they don't harm you. People be like, oh, no, you're bigger than that. Them bugs not gonna do nothing to you. But it's just like, I know that, but I still don't like them. They make my skin itch. Like, my hairs be just like, shook because they just make me uncomfortable. But that bug flopped on my boobies, y'all. And when I say I literally almost passed out, I'm not even lying. And anybody that knows me knows I don't do bugs. Like, I don't I do not do bugs. I just don't do bugs. <laughs> and then when I tell people that it was a roach in my wig, they thought I was talking about the little roaches. No, this was them big old water bugs that just be easing their way through things and they just be sitting there like just ruining your life just in the corner just ruining your life and that's not my first time seeing one like around me in my new apartment they have a lot of them in the complex and I'm not sure why but I have a balcony so when I went outside of my balcony one night there they was relaxing just there you know what I'm saying so I had to like seal my balcony door because I saw one in my washing machine I saw one near my washing and dryer like on the floor I saw one in my bedroom closet y'all know how I feel about that so I called my my property manager and told him like look this is a problem well I didn't call them I emailed them I was like this is a problem um first it was centipedes now it's these big gigantic cockroaches. We don't have little rodents. I haven't seen no little rodents, no mice, no nothing, but these giant roaches got to go. Like, got to go. I'm not trying to wake up in my new, I'm not trying to wake up with, with a cockroach in my braids, falling out my braids, falling out my bonnet. I'm not trying to have roaches just falling out the cabinets and shit because them, them things, I'm not killing it. I'm just not killing it. I, I'm, I'm not the one. So people people be like, oh, you're such a baby. It's not about being a baby. It's about them damn things. When you, I don't even wanna know what it looked like when you kill them. Like, I don't even know if stuff gushes out. But honey, that wig was gone, like in the trash. When I say I picked it up, like I was picking up um, something that was disgusting, that's how I was picking that wig up. I was like, oh, you're going in the trash. I'm sorry, but <laughs> I will not be wearing you for a minute. I, I will not be wearing you at all. I will buy a whole new wig, throw the whole wig away, sis. Like, that's, that was my energy that day. Because how the hell did that water bug get on my wig? That means it had to either fall out of a tree or climbed up my back. But I would have felt something climbing up my back. That's the thing, like... I would have felt something climbing on my back. So I'm thinking that shit got clinged on to something. I don't know, but y'all, I was scared for my life. When I was younger, I remember screaming to the top of my lungs. And I think this is the first time my mother has ever put her hands on me. Like, Ma never put her hands on me. So you know this was a big deal to her. But it was this mirror in our room. And I had on a long white t-shirt. Like, I think I had on either my sister's or my brother's. And I had to be like seven or eight. And so I get up, I look in the mirror, and it's a roach on my t-shirt. And it just freaked me out because the t-shirt was white. So it was like this spot. And I was like, what is that, sis? It was a roach. So you, I screamed so bad because it wouldn't move. It was just like stuck. So then my mom came rushing in the room like, what's going on? What happened? And then my sister was like, she has a roach on her. So my mom was like, really? Really, you, you screaming because of roach? Really? Like she probably thought my hair got caught on fire or something. Like, really? I mean, really, really? So yeah, she tore my little butt up because I, I, and my sister, she always brings it up. But it is funny, like, I don't like bugs. Like, I just, I'm not, like, I love nature, but I don't do bugs. I just like, I feel like if I was on Fair Factor, I would be the person to be like,
And if we camping out, I'm gonna need to be isolated, like in a tube where I'm blocked out from everything because honey, the way these bugs be going, they be aggressive. They will jump you. They will jump you. The mosquitoes this summer tore my little behind up. I mean, 10 a day type thing. It was so damn bad. I had to look it up on Google. Like, why do I keep getting bit by mosquitoes? Like, what if I would have gotten a car and it was just driving around? And what if I was on a highway? I think I would have lost it. I really think I would have lost it. Like, they just be sneaky. They're so sneaky. Like, they end up in the places you don't want them. Your wig. Really? Why couldn't you just be around the stove, under, uh, up under the stove somewhere, you on my wig. What you want with me? Like, damn. But yeah, they be in the places you don't want them the most, like on your countertop while you cooking, or in the tub, <laughs> on your crawling across your tub while you try to take a bubble, while you in your little romantic bubble bath with your candles and then you got your wine, you just see this little thing going right across you. Like, and I get it, some people, they can't control it because it's roaches everywhere, like restaurants. I know people be like, oh, it shouldn't be roaches in restaurants. It's gonna be roaches in restaurants. Come on now. Especially where I'm from in DC, there's rats and roaches everywhere. I mean, I just wanted to share that with you guys because, <laughs> honey, I don't steal the roaches. I don't steal the bugs. And that right there <laughs> was a no no. That scarred me for a while. Like, a while. I hate bugs. I don't, I don't, if you, that's one fact about me. You know, I don't do the bugs. I'm just not a bug person. And yeah, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.